In this video, we're looking for maths and trigonometric functions like sum product, I have M round, floor, ceiling, and uh, I have mod and question. Let's see those one by one. I have first one that is sum product. Now, if you see on the screen, I have some data that is array one and array two, which are some numbers. I've purposely kept very small numbers. Now, what exactly I want is, I want multiplication of both these numbers in the each array, that is the product. And also at the end, I want sum of all these numbers. So how do I do that? Normally I do it with the help of this one. I'll just type equal to first cell multiplied by second cell. Enter and I'll just drag down. So once I drag down, I've got all the products. And finally, I've got all the products of these two arrays. And finally, I want some of those numbers. So I'll press Alt equal to from my keyboard. Alt equal to enter. And I've got the sum that is 59. So it took me very lengthy steps to multiply first and then take a sum. But I have a shortcut formula that's a sum product. If I use that, I can get the sum within seconds. So the function is equal to sum product, equal to sum product. And then I'll select this first array, comma, and second array. Selected equal to some product first array comma second array. That's it. Once I press enter the number which is given as 59 I'll get the answer over here. So some product can be very useful which will reduce the time for multiplying and as well as taking a sum. Okay, let's see the next one. I have something function known as M round. What exactly M round does is it multiplies or it rounds the number to the nearest multiple. So for example, I have a number as 4.4 .4, and what exactly it should fall around. Should it fall around 4 or 5 when I'm rounding the number? So 4.4, .4, it should come to the 4. If I put as 4.6, it should come to the 5. Similarly, if I put as 5, it will show as 5. If I put as 5.1, what should be the nearest number it should round? And I'll, if when I press enter, it says as 5. So what is the formula for this M round, how we can round the numbers? So the formula is, I'll type here, the formula is equal to M round equal to m round and I'll select this number, the cell number, comma, which is the nearest multiple I want the number to be rounded. So I'll say yes, I want the nearest multiple is 1 and I'll close the bracket. So once I close the bracket, whatever number is given here as 5.1, it will give the nearest round. So I'll say yes, it says as 5. Similarly, I'll just try to change the number. I'll change the number as 5.9. So what is the nearest round number? It says 6. So this way you can use it. Similarly, if I want the number to be nearest multiple of 5, which function or I, I should use it? I'll use the same M round, but now the parameter will change here. So I'll type here as M round. I'll just reduce the size so you can see it properly. Yeah, so equal to M round and I'll select this number comma. Now I want multiples of five. So I've written as round the number to the nearest multiple of five. So second parameter I'll type here as five. Once I press five and press enter, you see for 7.5 nearest multiple of five is 10. If I put here as less than 7.5, if I put here less than 7.5, that is 7.4 enter, you see it has taken me to five, the number five. Let's try one more. If I type as 11.5, where it should take me? It should take me to number as 10. I'll press 10. Similarly, if I take between 10 and 15, the number between 10 and 15 is 12.5. So if I insert 12.5, it should take me to the 15 number. That is 12.5, enter. It has taken me to 15, so it's working fine. So M round function rounds the number to the nearest multiple of the X number. Let's see one more example. I have a number, let's say 24. Now I want to round the number to the nearest multiple of 10. I have this 24. What is the nearest multiple? It is 20. So if I say I want as 25, it takes me to 30. If I say 24.9, it will take me to the nearest multiple. Here it will take as to 20. So you see 20. Now same function I'll use here, that is M round. And I'll take this number, the cell number that is C4, sorry, A4. And the nearest multiple is 10. And I'll press enter. So once you type here, let's say 25.1, it will take you to 30. If you type 24.9, it will take you to 20, right? So this way M round function can be used. But on the other hand, if I'm not interested in M round, I want about the lowest number or the highest number. So I can use the other function that is floor and ceiling. So I'll go for the first one that is floor. Now what exactly floor says is, floor, if you can imagine that's your floor where you're standing. So on this floor, if I put here 3.9, so what is the nearest lowest value I can get in the round, multiples of round? So for 3.9 is the lowest is three. 
if I type as 4.1, 4.1, I'll get the number as 4. So lowest number it takes, that is the, it will remove the decimal in short in layman language if you say. So what is the function or formula I have used? I've used the formula as floor. Let's see how we can write that. First I'll reduce the size and uh, yeah. So the formula or function you can say it is floor. It says this give me the number that is the cell number A2 comma what is the significance what multiple you want I'll say I want the multiple for one so floor remember the floor is the place where you stand so it's the lowest place so it says as four so if I type as 5.1 it gives me five if I, even if I type 5.9 still it will take me the lowest number that is five if I type here 6.9 it will take me to six this was lowest number with multiple of one what if you want lowest number multiple of five so for example I have a number as six it should take me to the lowest fifth multiple. So it takes me to the five. If I type here 7.5, still it will take me to five. If I type here, let's say the lowest number as 9.9, .9, still it will take me to the number five. You see, there's a number five given here, so floor. So how do I write it? Same way, equal to floor, equal to floor, and I'll select this number, comma, and I'll type here 5. Significance you can see as multiple, that's 5 I've written, and I'll press enter. So I'll get the same thing. If I point, uh, type here 10.1, it will take to 10. If I type 9.9, .9, so it will not take me to 10, it will take me to the fifth number, that is 5. Similarly, the last one, if I want the number, which should be the nearest multiple of 10, I've written here 5, it should be 10 here. And uh, I'll write here 10. So now the same function I'll use is uh, equal to floor, select the number, comma, and significance, or I can say multiple, that's the lowest multiple, I can say as 10. So once I press 10, you see that's 15 is given as 10. Even if I write here 19, it will give me 10. But if I write 21, here if I write 21, it will take me to the number as 20. So lowest value, that is the significance given. On the other hand of floor, the opposite of floor, it is a ceiling. So I'll go to the ceiling place. And now if I type 2.1, it takes me to the 3 value. If I type 2.9, it takes to 3 value. 3.1, it takes me to the 4, so highest value. Okay. So similarly, instead of floor, what you have to do is you have to just type here ceiling. So the function is equal to ceiling. That is the number, comma, significance. Right now I'll take for the first one, that is 1. Press enter. Now I'll just check it. 5.1, it takes me to 6. 6.1, it takes me to 7. It's working fine. Now the second two examples are similar. I'll take multiple of file, I'll take multiple of 10. Let's see now, equal to ceiling, equal to ceiling, this number, comma, multiple of 5, press enter. Second, equal to ceiling, number, comma, multiple of 10, enter. So now let's see the last one. If I say it is 9.4 and I want the ceiling number for this, it says as 10. So if I say I want 11.1, .1, it takes me to 20. So multiple of 10, it has incremented. So this way we can work on ceiling part. The next one, I have something mathematical related that is mod and quotient. What exactly is mod? So if I want, if I want the remainder of any uh, number using a mathematical, I, I uh, can use this function that is mod. For example, if I have, I just want to see what is the remainder equal to let's say 3 divided by 2 so I'll get as 1.5 but in mathematics you get a remainder you get a quotient you get a divide and all these options so that time I can you I cannot use this kind of formula I have to use some function given by what you call Microsoft Excel so what is that function is this function is known as mod so what exactly how do I use a mod is equal to mod I have to write the number and second is I have to write the divisor number is number 3 and the divisor is number 2 so I'll write here 3 comma 2 3 comma 2 and the remainder for this would be 1 right once I press enter I'll get the answer as 1 now always remember the sign for the remainder will be given as the sign for the uh, you can say as number okay so I'll type here equal to mod open the bracket if I type here minus 3 divide by 2 right so the sign for the mod will be or the remainder will be given for the number itself and I'll press enter so I'll type here a formula that is equal to mod and I'll type here equal to number that is the number given has as uh, 3 comma minus 2 I'll type here. So remember the uh, the number or you call the, the mod you will get the answer the sign for the mod will be the same sign for the divisor. So this is the divisor minus 2 and I'll get the sign for that minus 2 the minus sign enter so I've got the minus 1 sign. 
So this way you can get the mod or you can say remainder for the calculation purpose, right? Next I have something known as question. Now what exactly question is like you, you know the mathematics how we can go for it. Now if I divide this 5 by 2 I'll get the question as 2. Similarly if I divide by 3, 10 divided by 3 the question I'll get as 3 and the mod will be 1. So let's see how I can get it. It's very simple. I'll just type here equal to question, right? And this would be 5 that is my numerator comma denominator would be 2. So the, the question which will be given will be as 2 and the mod will be 1. So I'm giving a question once, once I press enter I've got the answer as 2. Similarly let's try one more example. If I divide 10 by the 3 I'll get the question as 3. So I'll type here equal to question and I'll type here this one as 10 divided by 3 and close the bracket. So question for this, uh, this uh, problem would be let's say 3 and the you know mod will be 1. So once I press enter I've got the answer as 3. So this way you can use mod and quotient function where our regular normal uh, formulas will fail. This way you can work on mathematics and trigonometric functions. So I hope you have understood how to go for some product, the M round, floor, ceiling, mod and quotient. That's all for this video.